This week's Premier League predictor, same old story over the last seven days, still getting abuse from Sheffield United fans for you and I saying they were going down. Uh, thanks for that. Newcastle against Man City to begin with. Uh, very difficult to come up with a reason why Newcastle gets anything from this. City will score goals. Newcastle, you kind of, you always figure where are the goals coming from when they step on the field. So even though they're at home, I'm sorry, has to be Manchester City. Yep, even though they're not maybe at their best right now. They're playing well, Burnley, mm. against Palace. Um, I think I think people were giving Palace too much credit earlier on in the season. I think there were so many teams inconsistent that they ended up in the top half of the table somehow. Because again, I'm trying to figure out where is this team's goals coming from? Unless it's Zaha, I mean, are you? No, I don't think so. So, <laughs> Burnley at home, always a tough proposition regardless. I think Burnley beats Crystal Palace. Palace have actually got a good run of fixtures coming up after Burnley where they'll go and they'll lose. <sighs> What's going on with them against the Chelsea side mm. that at home are pretty good? Again, very difficult to come up with a reason why Chelsea don't win this game. Mm -hmm. uh, particularly at home, the free flow on the attack. Maybe West Ham could frighten them on the break. Uh, but at the end of the day, it's tough to try and figure out why West Ham beats Chelsea at Chelsea, the, the way West Ham are playing. So, has to be Chelsea. It's hard to disagree. I think most people would probably have the first three. Yeah, I mean, yeah. same thing. You know, uh, Brighton... Brighton what? But Brighton... Regardless of where they are, try and pass the ball out from the back. They're a good Have side you, to watch. Well, they're a great side to watch. But I'll tell you what, I wouldn't fancy being a Brighton fan. Sitting at Anfield, watching them try to pass out the back with Liverpool's front three, closing happening. them down. So I, I don't see anything other than a Liverpool win. Two wins to start Jose's campaign at Spurs. Seven goals. This will make it three. Scored. You like the look of what you've seen so far? Any tweaks that you've noticed? Lucas Moura on the right-hand side? It was, it was a matter of time before they started winning games. And of course, with a new manager coming in, it bucks everybody up, everybody has a, an extra step. Um, and so it's not a surprise Tottenham have won a couple of games. Uh, Bournemouth away from home, I'm never quite sure. They just play nice football, but right now, uh, I don't see Bournemouth away from home at Spurs winning, so Tottenham it is. Yeah, all the same so far. Okay, let's see if we disagree now on the second five at all. Uh, Southampton should have won at Arsenal. <laughs> <laughs> what are you, what are you giggling at? I I'm trying to figure out, how can you actually say one of these teams is going to win? You can't, with any <laughs> sincerity or authority. I mean, you talk about a battle of the relegation candidates, so I'm going to say this is a draw. I mean, neither side can keep a, keep a clean sheet. Neither side look particularly great going forward. I mean, I can't pick a winner. I'm going to go for a draw. They were better than they were last week. That's the only thing I got for that one. Uh, United against Villa. They, they might go there and have a go. I think they will go there and have a go. And again, I can't pick a winner between these two sides. Uh, Manchester United, even though they're at home, are, st are still vulnerable defensively. And, and Villa will give it a goal. Villa will probably lose a goal as well. But I can see them scoring. So I'm going to go for another draw here. Let's see if we agree on any of them so far. United at home. Get all three points. <laughs> I mean, Arsenal, what? what? Um, well, Norwich, what? Again, you don't know what you're getting. Incredible win for them at Everton last week. An incredible win at home against Man City early in the season. You think they're going to go on from there. And then again, it's just kind of collapsed. Arsenal away from home. You can't put a penny on Arsenal away from home. I mean, in fact, right now at home, they're not particularly great either. So. You know what? I'm going to go for another draw. I'm going three draws. They're better suited to play away from home because teams attack them a little bit more. And because I think they can't defend. I can't, exactly. They've they got no defend. strength in the middle of the park. But they'll outscore Norwich, I think, in, in that one. Well, um, Chef United at Wolves. I'm going for another draw. <laughs> you Seriously. Off that fence. Listen, Sheffield United, away from home, have been... Have been be I mean, the surprise of the Premier League, in my opinion, away from home. You know, if, if I'm going to put money on a team outside the top two to get a result away from home, it's going to be Sheffield United. Now, Wolves, after a sticky start, have been real solid, but I'm not going to back against Sheffield United away, so I'm going to go for another draw. 
They've been good after the European Games. Let the haters hate. Leicester Everton. Easy peasy, and it's not a draw. Really? My goodness. This could be the last game for Silva in charge. I mean, I'm shocked right now that he hasn't been sacked after losing uh, last weekend at home to Norwich City. Um, so, I wouldn't put a penny on Everton away from home. Leicester, however, at home are great. They're exciting. They played a good attack in football. They scored goals. And I don't see how an Everton side who just look lost are going to be able to stop them. There we go. So at least we've agreed on one yeah. in this second half of the Premier League this weekend. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+.